A customer brought an engine with serious air bubbles. In the first time, the engine was a common Ray Kumis 855. It took me more than four hours to figure out what actually wrong with the engine and why it bubbles in the first time. But the good news is the problem was solved. How? If you are interested in the solution to the air bubble in the first time, then come closer and watch this video to the end. I'm going to tell you three causes and solutions and the number one is going to wow you. Let's go. Number one causes of that is the air in the first system. There's every tendency that there is air in the system, in the fuel system, which is returning back to the fuel tank through the fuel return line. And that actually creates bubbles in the fuel line. This is very common in diesel engine. What should you do as a solution? You must bleed the fuel system thoroughly. If the engine is using a mechanical fuel pump, especially with a diaphragm, they need to check the diaphragm for leakage, replace the fuel pump. You should also know that fuel pump, a damaged fuel pump, is not only responsible for air in the fuel system. So check other things that that will also be responsible for air in the system and ensure that is that is no air allowed in the fuel system. At this point, can you please like the video? If you have done that, thank you. And let's move on number two. Number two reason is damage injector sleeve tool. Do you know this component? It is referred to as damage injector sleeve tube. During the engine compression stroke, the compression must not leave. There should be no room to escape. The piston rings prevent it from leaking downward to the crankcase. And the intake and exhaust valve are closed during the compression stroke. But if you have a bad injector sleeve tube, that we allow the compression to leak and in common ray fuel system this will get to the fuel tank via the return line what is the solution you must replace the injector sleeve tube to do that you need a special tool to do that so get the tools and replace the injector sleeve tube if you have done that, then the engine should stop bubble in the first time. At this point, can you please share this video so that others can see it? If you have done that, thank you. Now let's go to number one that I promise that is going to wow you. And the number one is injector blow by or back leaks. Yes. Yeah. This occur when the injector is not properly sealed and as a result of that compression leaks and the compression finds its way to the fuel tank via the return line. But the question you can ask is why injector blow by? That could be as a result of four things that I'm, I'm going to mention here. The number one is uneven injectors washers. You know injector washers, injector washers, maybe sometimes be brass or other color. Check the inje injectors washers very well. If it's not balanced very well again, it could be the reason why you are having injectors blow by or leak back leak back leaks, which is, which allow compression to leak. And number two is broken O-ring seal. Check. If any injectors is having compression leak, you can check the O-ring seal if it's bad. And number three is uneven injector clamp top or tightening. The injector clamp must be correctly and accurately torqued. 
if it's not taught correctly, that could be the reason why compression is leaking from the injectors. Then ensure that it's properly torqued. And number four is damage injector clamp. No matter how you torque or tighten your injector clamp, if the injector clamp is damaged, yes, you will not have result. You continue having injector blow by. So what is the solution to that? Ensure that you stop all injector from blow by. Ensure that compression is not leaking from these injectors. If you can do this, then you should have no air bubbles in the first time. Have you subscribed to the channel? Please do so that you can 